I made a 3D game with no experience at all and it was a very easy task. Well, that's what I thought until I... Yeah, I literally had no idea about game development before this challenge. But I've been interested after watching these kind of videos. They made the game in 7 days? <laughs> Even 24 hours? Man, this looks so easy and I can make money from it. In fact, I was born making games. So, I decided to make a 3D game in 7 days for the first time. I installed Godot engine. The version was 3.4.3 back then. I chose Godot simply because it operates with Godot language script which is similar to Python. It's user friendly and super fast to run. But I don't know Python in the first place. So I studied Python and watched some tutorials to get ready. I opened Godot, created a new project and began the journey. For the name, I'll call it Reach. And now I'm here staring at this blank depressing we all know that making something like a game means there should be a mechanics and a game idea so what is my game idea before we continue if you were a game dev i would like to know how was your first week learning game dev let me know in the comments the game idea will be about a person who want to reach his goal or treasure or something and there will be obstacles and enemies also solving puzzles and parkour that would be great i can do all this stuff in just a few days but let's make it seven days for the sake of the challenge so let's begin with our environment with the 3d node and a plane for the floor wait why it's not working? Okay, let me fast things for you. I made a node and gave it a name to be professional. You know? Then I gave it a body and collision shape, but I spent too much time and it felt it's not gonna work. So, okay, again, body, mesh, and collision. Now we have our first cube after just a few seconds, as expected. <sighs> Okay, now what? After that, I started making the character, gave him the collision, and added a camera, directional light, you know, this stuff. Now for the coding part. Let's make our first script. Oh, there is a built-in script? Let's use that. Well, I can't understand anything, so I'll just remove it and follow the tutorial guy. I wrote some code, and trust me, you don't want to waste your time watching me trying. <laughs> Then I started building my map and what an ugly map. After that I did put an area so when the player falls down he loses. I started making the enemy or the obstacle or whatever. I placed him before the finish line that I'm planning to do next. But before that I made two points that the enemy will patrol between. I started making the losing starting and win screens. I went to Kenny Assets website. They provide a lot of free assets. So I downloaded one of them and started playing around with it. I don't know why I had so much trouble adding collisions to the objects but let's skip the process. Fine. Finally, result. After 7 days and all of that talking about how it's easy to make, I've done this. Yeah, what adorable game. Anyway, let's start playing it. Hi, Madara. Okay, so we died and this is where you put your name to be on the leaderboard score. And here is B Pro. I mean play again. Stay noob to quit the game and you rank to know your score. So let's try again. I made a score system, you can see the score counter up there. Nice movement there, lol. You can kill the monster by stepping on his head, then you respawn because the object is to reach the end without killing him. Just joking, just a reason because I didn't know how to make him disappear. And that's the winning screen. Okay, so now I am one step close to my goal. Or maybe hell. If you liked my video, please subscribe because this is really sad. I'm willing to make more content about game dev. I studied a lot about game dev since I tried Godot. And I am excited to share the knowledge I got. Watch my next video here. See you soon.